Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. As you might have known, I've been on YouTube talking about investments, personal finance, credit cards and tutorials for a little more than a year now. Talk until my slide will also dry. But there's one thing which I've never talked about before up until today, which is how I got top 10 in the Snoopy run whose participants are mostly little kids. Just kidding. No, but seriously, I was the top 10. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Instead, it's about how much money I earn from YouTube. That's right, I'm going to monetize myself talking about my monetization. I'm pretty sure some of you are curious as to how much money I make on YouTube. Said no one ever. By the way, that is also known as Gapo or Busybody. So in this video, I'll be sharing how much I earn from YouTube as a random YouTuber from Singapore who is still learning about investing and has only 23,000 subscribers. I'll break everything down from when I started monetizing, how much I'm making every month, and what are all my income sources from YouTube. So let's not waste any time and let's jump right in. The first income source all YouTubers will earn is from Google AdSense. Basically, whenever you watch advertisements in the video, the YouTuber will be paid a small amount of money. Each advertisement will have different value because it depends on a lot of things like what kind of video are you making? Is it a vlog channel, gaming channel, or personal finance channel? What time of year is it? what kind of audience you have, and so on. When you add up all these factors, you have something called CPM or click per mouse, which is how much advertisers are paying for every 1,000 views. The amount can range anywhere between a few cents for every 1,000 views up to $40, $50 for every 1,000 views. So that's basically what essence is. Then you may say, okay la, okay la, I know what essence is la. Ads money ma. Then how much you earn? So I started this channel in January 2020, posting one video every single week. And for that month, I earned a whopping $0. Yup, that's right, each video was about 6 to 10 minutes long. And the amount of work behind each video was a lot. It includes finding a topic, researching, scripting, filming, editing, uploading, writing video text, creating thumbnails, replying comments, all of which would easily add up anywhere from 10 to 15 hours worth of work for every video. And all that was worth nothing. But no, not really. Even though I earned $0, I learned quite a few things along the way. At the start, my video quality was so bad until I feel so paisay to even upload it. But with every video, I improved one or two things. Better scripting, better editing, and getting more and more comfortable talking to the camera. And trust me, personally, I already find it difficult talking to real people and even more difficult talking to the camera. Then finally in February, I earned $0. Yup, another free labor month. But I continue doing it because I like sharing whatever knowledge I have with you guys. This continued on month after month. Then in May, 4 months after I started, I reached 100 subscribers. I know to big YouTubers, 100 subscribers may seem like nothing. But this was a huge milestone to me. You know, it's a big deal because it's not often that you receive a confetti email from Google. And in June, I hit 500 subscribers. And in July, I reached 1000 subscribers. All of this while I was earning $0 while consistently uploading one video every week without fail. Then finally on August 20th, YouTube finally allowed me to monetize. And so I did. On my first month, I earned $170.28. It ain't much but it's honest work. Maybe it was partly due to luck or maybe it was partly due to hard work. But the views started increasing and with it, the revenue started increasing too. Initially, I was only getting like $10 a day but it slowly increased to around $30 to $40 a day by December. So in 2020, I uploaded a total of 55 videos, which equals to around 660 hours worth of work. It got 265.2 thousand views, which translates to $3,336.43. So that's around $5 an hour worth of work. Ask yourself this, would you have continued working without pay for up to 8 months? I know I definitely would have given up if my only reason for doing YouTube was to earn money. Instead, I was able to continue doing this for so long without any income was because I just like sharing financial knowledge with you guys and more importantly, seeing you guys benefit from it. Here's one more secret which I have not shared before. To top this all up, I had my first born near the end of 2020. But due to the whole pandemic situation, the borders were closed, right? And because our parents were in Malaysia, me and my wife had to solo the kid by ourselves. So now, I had to split my time between work, wife, kid, sleep, and YouTube. But I did manage to pull off one video every week. No, not only that. In 2021, I became more serious towards YouTube. So instead of the usual one video per week, I started putting off two videos every single week. So far till now, I have not missed any uploads yet. Touch wood. As I was putting up more videos in 2021, the views naturally went up 
and so did the revenue. Some days, I got $40 plus. On good days, I got over $100. But all in all, from January 2021 till June 2021, I uploaded 46 videos, got a total of 937,000 views, and earned a total of $13,201.61. That's around $23 per hour worth of work, compared to 2020's $5 an hour. Nice. So that's my YouTube revenue from the start till now. But before I move on, I want to show you a very incredible thing. If I go to the revenue breakdown, you'll see that each video only contributes to a few percent of the total revenue. With the most popular video, revealing my 95k stock portfolio, contributing only 5.8%. Here's why, every time I upload a video, that video becomes something like that Warcraft peon. It starts to work for me. While I'm awake in my office, it'd be like, work, work. While I'm asleep, it'd be like, ready to work. It will continue bringing in money and can earn anywhere between a few cents to a few dollars a day. And what's more amazing is that all these videos will still continue to earn money 10 to 15 years from now. And that is the power of passive income. You put in all the hard work at the start, and after that, you earn money while you sleep. By itself, each of these videos is quite inconsequential. But as I upload more and more videos, together, these videos will bring in quite a huge amount. Alright, so that was Google AdSense. Let's move on to the second revenue source, sponsorships. Basically, sponsorships are what Malaysian YouTubers like to call Kante or stepfather. To put it simply, sponsorships are where companies pay YouTubers some money to talk about the product or service for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Similar to Essence, a sponsorship's amount would depend on many different factors. It can be just a few hundred dollars all the way to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Here's why, imagine your favorite YouTuber suddenly wears the Tesla shot and dance in front of you. The video will be viewed by a few hundred thousand people. In a way, that product or service will have the YouTuber's seal of approval, which is a huge deal. Because of that, sales will improve. So companies are willing to pay YouTubers a lot of money to share the product. And speaking of sharing, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes for all sorts of topics. They got tons of classes on personal finance, stock investing, and options trading. It's super tough doing YouTube part-time while having a full-time job and a wife and a newborn all at the same time. So I needed to improve my productivity by a lot. Right now, I'm taking a class called Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. He's a super successful productivity guru on YouTube. In this class, he shares tips and tricks on how to improve your productivity. I learned that a good method is to have a consistent habit to start doing work. Once you have that habit of doing work, you will identify yourself as a productive person. Because of that, you won't even think about procrastinating. And that's how you can slowly improve your productivity. So, because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1,000 people to use the link down in the description below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. You could watch all the tutorials you want whenever you want. So, go click the link in the description. Sure, you'll get to support this channel. But more importantly, you'll kickstart an entirely new chapter in your life where you will learn new skills online. With that being said, let's get back to talking about how much I make from YouTube. So, how much do I earn from sponsorships? Here's the thing, I can't reveal how much I'm getting paid because they usually have a non-disclosure agreement, but I can give you a range. Since the start of 2020 until June 2021, I'm earning anywhere between $100 to $1,000, which to be frank is very little and it could be much more than that. There were so many sponsors reaching out to me to ask me to talk about their product for a lot of money. Sometimes it can be more than $10,000 for a 30 second mention. I have rejected most of them because I will only recommend stuff to you guys which I think will benefit you. Because of that, I lost anywhere between 50k to 100k. But I think that the integrity of a YouTuber is super important and I wouldn't exchange it for money. Even if they gave me 10k, 50k, as long as I don't believe in the product, I wouldn't do it. But what about 500k? Then, I mean, it's a life changing amount, right? I could use a bit of extra money. Just kidding guys, just kidding. I will never give you up, I will never let you down. Okay, the third and final part to my YouTube income comes from affiliates. Basically, I put a link down in the description below. Then, if you sign up using the link, you will get some reward and I will be paid a small amount of money. It's like, you good, I good, everybody good. An example is Tiger Brokers or Mumu. If you sign up to them and deposit $2,700, you get a free stock for both of them which is awesome because we all like free money, right? Unless you don't like free money. But, but that's a whole topic altogether. The good thing about affiliates is that I don't have to do anything other than to copy paste the link down below. And that's all the work to be done. 
I don't really mention this link in every single video because I don't like to be pushy. I'm more like, you like, you sign up law. You don't like, also never mind. Just get the link from your friends. As usual, I will only recommend products or services that I find are good. So no worries there. So how much do I earn from affiliates? From 2020 to June 2021, the total amount that I've earned from affiliates is $59,763.47, which is actually quite a lot. In fact, it contributes to more than half of the entire YouTube revenue. So when you add them all up from 2020 to June 2021, here's how much I made from YouTube. AdSense $16,538.04 $1, Sponsorships $100 to $1,000 Affiliates $59,763.47 which brings the grand total to around $76,401.51 to $77,301.51 I would say the amount is actually quite good considering that I just started last year I expect it to continue growing as long as I consistently upload videos Other than these three main sources Essence, Sponsorships, Affiliates there are actually more options to earn money from but I haven't been able to get to doing it because I don't have the time to do them. One of them is Patreon or YouTube memberships where viewers can support their creators by donating some money to them every month. I might do it someday, who knows? Another is creating courses to sell like Graham Stephan has his YouTube Academy courses where he teaches people how to do YouTube. I would certainly want to make some courses to share my knowledge when I have the time someday. But for now, my goal is just to continue growing the channel to 100k subscribers while sharing what I know with you guys. Another one would be merchandise, which is selling items that's created by the YouTuber. For example, Solving the Money Problem has his Tesla to the Moon t-shirt. There are many many ways to earn money as a YouTuber. The sky is the limit. Last but not least, I just want to say this. Thank you for all the support and love that you guys have given me. As cliche as it sounds, none of this would have been possible if not for you guys. So, Kamsehamida! And that's all for today. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday and sometimes Friday.